Hello, let's review how we can um, join two revolved surfaces and subtract excess parts. First we can go to File, New, uh, in the model we go to Shape Studio and give a default name to our file. Then from Preferences we go to uh, Modeling Preference under modeling preference under general tab we set that to sheet with that in place we are in the right environment first thing we do is that uh, we draw a line a sketch uh, on one of the datum planes I used Y X to see what I'm doing uh, I can set the front view so now that we have our sketch in place this is just a simple line uh, as you can see it's 20 inch, 20 millimeter uh, in length one end of it to the center is 10 and from uh, X axis to this end is also 10 with that in place I can create my revolve by going to the command extrude revolve that's how we came up with this revolve part after which we need to set up a datum plane from which we will uh, add the tube that is going to intersect with this tube here I set a datum plane you can see it is about 15 millimeter from the original datum plane with that in place I added a circle to it I draw a circle right on this datum plane and um, now that we have a circle we can simply extrude it to understand how this was done you see uh, that it is perfectly ex uh, cross crossing the original body of the revolve part that we did and uh, the distance is 8 and we even uh, gave it a little draft of 10 degree that is why the bottom of this part uh, circle this cone is uh, 10 degree off uh, from the center now it's time to do the trimming as you see the there's this part hanging out here in order to trim it we use a trimmed sheet command um, trimmed sheet command is under insert trim trimmed sheet insert trim trimmed sheet uh, with that in place we first will select the part that needs to get trimmed and be used so for the target we say select sheet body that's this part that needs to be trimmed for the select for the boundary that is going to do the cutting we use we use this green part this original revolve part that will uh, trim this excess however we are left with this closed area for that one what I did is uh, this time I uh, selected the revolved part as the part that needs, uh, that needs to be cut and then for the boundary I selected the green part that's how uh, you see this red that's indic indicative of where it needs to get cut um, then uh, we have this we are left with this open hole in the top for that one we use bonded plane uh, bonded plane is a command that is under insert surface plane uh, insert surface plane insert surface plane bonded plane is right here so that will close this uh, top area uh, after that we need to 
take these three parts and turn them into one. For that, we use the command so, S E W, so. Command so is under insert, combine, insert, combine, so. There it is. By doing so, you will you will make uh, the revolve part, the additional uh, revolve part, and the top all in one. And finally, for the final touch, we will blend these edges, these welding edges. Um, I used um, 0.5 millimeter to blend them together. This uh, concludes the review of how uh, to join surfaces and trim excess parts. Um, if you like this video, do a like or subscribe and you will get the next uh, set of how-to videos. Thank you.